to whom much is given, much is required. So much has been given to me, and I'm just so grateful. And for that, I believe that with all the gifts I've been given, I need to be a gift that keeps on giving. My name is Martine Ilya Augustin. I am a graduating senior, criminal justice major, sociology minor, on a pre-law track from Philadelphia. I'll describe myself as industrious. I'm a hard worker, ambitious, I dream big. And the last one, as transparent. I would think others would describe me as one hardcore. I say that because I really go hard for things and things that I believe in, I always put my foot down. Uh, funny, I do have a character. If you, if you ever get close to me, you'll learn that I'm always cracking jokes. And I also think ambitious. I'm a very ambitious person and everyone knows this. I am a first generation Haitian American student, but I am also a ward of the state. So when I was in the 10th grade, I was I entered the foster care systems. So the Martine before Hampton was lost. The Martine before Hampton didn't know how to embrace who she was, but the Martine before Hampton was always hardworking. I was always diligent. I literally lived in my high school. I went to a great school, despite the test scores, despite you know the things that society sets as a standard. That school really helped me help cultivate who I was. I came into Hampton being self-aware about my culture. I was self-aware about who I was, but I, did, I wasn't fully living in my potential. I was a cheerleader at Hampton. I became a hoorah. Uh, that's actually like a big accomplishment because not all girls will come hoorahs. And honestly, I didn't think much of it when I was doing it, but when I actually got that song chant sung to me, like I was in shock, like I was so excited to cheer. And then that just leads to the sacrifice that I had to make. I stopped cheering my junior year because I knew I had to study for the LSAT. And I knew I had to prepare for law school. So I had got an internship, it was a fellowship at Duke. Uh, it was a pre-law fellowship, only 22 students, two Hampton students. And yeah, I met one of my closest friends there. It was an awesome experience. The summer after that, I had the opportunity to intern with Nike. I was working with the, Jer the Jordan brand. That was amazing. And I was doing an internship that was like out of my league. I'm a criminal justice major, but I was working in digital marketing. I got to work with their legal team once or twice a week. So I was just in a completely different zone past year uh, I did the Miss Black and Gold pageant and surprisingly I won uh, I wasn't anticipating a win that was something I was doing to just you know get out of my comfort zone and just to let Hampton know who I was and what I stood for I am the founder and director of an organization called Ambition Overcoming Adversities. I like to say AOA for short. I felt like the students in my community was missing something. Just being at Hampton, that was my first time being around black wealth. Uh, I come from inner city Philadelphia, uh, low income Philadelphia, and I was just blessed to go to the schools that I went to. Even though they were public charter, they were Afrocentric schools and they taught me the values of giving back, of looking back to my culture to figure out who, where am I at and where am I going. We do community service. The goal is to teach students how to properly set and attain goals while providing them with healthy coping mechanisms to dealing with the adversities they face. It gave me a sense of forever. Like, I feel like Hamptons is somewhere I could always come every year for homecoming or go meet up with my friends and stuff like that. And just meeting other people outside of Hampton that go to PWIs, like, they don't have that same connection. Like, regardless of how I feel about Hampton, I'm gonna forever be connected to the school because of the memories they gave me. Homecoming, Spring Fest, all of those little things that you don't have at other schools. Uh, just meeting so many different people from so many different places with so many different aspects, um, aspirations in life, like that's what's beautiful about attending an HBCU. My ultimate goal is to become a Supreme Court Justice. That's where you can make the biggest change, I believe. And I want to change society for the better. But that starts with equality. But equality starts with diversity and inclusion. So everything that I do, I know it affects the person that comes behind me. And that's just one of my ultimate goals that I know that it'll probably be 50 years down the line. But that's an ultimate goal for me.